Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing the medication known as Nabivalol. Its brand name is Bistolic. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we discuss in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how Nabivalol works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Nabivalol. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does Nabivalol work? Well, Nabivalol is a long-acting, cardioselective, beta-1 adrenal receptor antagonist. In terms of indications or reasons you would prescribe this medication to a patient, we often see it used in hypertension or high blood pressure, and there's also two off-label indications, one being congestive heart failure and another being migraine prevention. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe nabivalol, we wouldn't give it to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to nabivalol or any other component of the formulation. We also would avoid giving this medication to a patient who had severe hepatic impairment or liver impairment, as well as patients who had severe bradycardia. Now what about dosing with nabivalol? So in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure, the initial dose would typically be 5 mg orally once daily. The patient may increase the dose every two weeks up to 40 mg once daily. In the treatment of congestive heart failure, the initial dose would be 1.25 mg orally once daily, and the patient may in this case increase the dose every one or two weeks to reach 10 mg once daily. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using nabivalol, so we'll go over some of those here now. 1-3% to of patients may experience nausea, while dizziness may happen 2-4% to of the time. 6-9% to of patients may experience a headache, and some patients may also experience somnolence. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be angina pectoris, or chest pain, as well as ventricular arrhythmias. That's all we're going to talk about today with Nabivalol or Bistolic. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.